I call Jackie Ding. Thank you, Mr Speaker. This bill is based on a large body of work undertaken by the Law Commission, uh, which finished their work in 2010 and will be, when, when it is enacted, quite a significant step forward in the management of people with uh, severe and serious um, addiction to alcohol or other drugs. It replaces the 1966 Alcohol, Alcoholism and Drug Addiction Act. And essentially, although there are a number of clauses, and given that we still have a number of stages to go through the Parliament, including the committee stage, there will be a number of opportunities for members to uh, rehearse the various provisions in the bill. Um, I will go through a few um, um, in the second reading of the bill. So I think the first task for the committee was to understand truly what a severe sub substance addiction amounted to in terms of this bill. And it, it was, and this has been mentioned before by previous members, it was enlightening uh, for the Health Committee to learn the extent of addiction by some members in our society, which causes them to be um, uh, come, under the, come under the provision of this bill in terms of compulsory treatment. Um, the bill enables people with a severe substance addiction and with therefore severely impaired uh, capacity to decide on what is best for their lives, what is best for them in terms of treatment for that addiction. It is for those to receive compulsory assessment and treatment. Um, and, and that is to protect them. It's to protect them from harm, to protect them from further harm, to enable some stabilisation of their health. And that was a point in, in the... In the um, submission period of, of our consideration is it allows this this compulsory um, uh, this compulsory nature of this bill allows for uh, people's conditions to be stabilized and that is addressing not only their mental health and their uh, addiction issues but also addressing and improving their physical well-being which then becomes a platform for perhaps better decision making in the future. It is also about protecting their dignity and I think that's um, an important aspect already mentioned this evening and, and to help restore their capacity to make uh, more informed decisions about further treatment for themselves and to address the issues around their substance use. The bill helpfully and rightfully sets out uh, the meaning of severe substance addiction um, and of course the, the condition manifests itself in the compulsive use of a substance and, and what that means is set out, new adaption to the substance, craving for the substance, unsuccessful efforts to control use of the substance and use of the substance despite harmful consequences. There are a number of protections built in to this, uh, the compuls compuls compulsion, I should say, aspect of this bill, the compulsory assessment and treatment, and no doubt those will be canvassed by other members. Um, with this short intervention, I commend the bill to the House. Oh,